Well, two men appeared in court today and their crimes share ties. MTN's Caitlin Corbett explains the connection. I'm here at the Gallatin County Law and Justice Center where two men appeared on different charges. Daniel Gavinsky appeared in justice court on one charge of criminal possession of dangerous drugs and Sean Aarons appeared in district court on three charges of theft, burglary and driving recklessly while eluding a law enforcement officer. But the crimes of these two men are actually connected. It began back on the night of April 26th on I-90 in Butte. Butte Silver Bow law enforcement was alerted to a vehicle that had been involved in possession of stolen firearms and ammunition. Driving that vehicle was 30-year-old Sean Aarons, who also has a pending charge for possession of dangerous drugs in Butte Silver Bow County. When the time came to make the traffic stop at the Continental Drive exit in Butte, Aarons took off, leading authorities on an hour-long high-speed chase. Uh, traffic started getting a little heavier. Um, that time the vehicle, uh, the pursuit was terminated by the lieutenant on duty. Um, momentary, moments later, we located the vehicle parked on uh, Jackson Street, just south of Park Street. Inside, authorities found firearms and ammunition, along with other stolen gear, enough for warrants for criminal endangerment, theft, and illusion issued in Aarons' name. The search for Aarons picked up almost two weeks later on May 7th, and here's where Gavinsky comes in. Authorities received a tip that Aarons was driving a vehicle near Whitehall. That vehicle is registered to 40-year-old Gavinsky. After maneuvers to avoid law enforcement, Aarons attempted to steal two cars and led authorities on a foot pursuit before he was finally detained in Three Forks. When the vehicle was searched, two backpacks were found containing methamphetamine. One belonged to Aarons, the other to Gavinsky. As they await their fates, Aarons is held on $500,000 bond, while Gavinsky is held on $10,000. In Bozeman, Caitlin Corbett, MTN News. All right, thank you, Caitlin. Aarons has charges in Gallatin County for felony assault and strangulation of a partner or family member. Gavinsky has previous convictions for possession of dangerous drugs. Switching gears to the west.